EPA WA meteorologist Bobby Martin here with your outlook for the weekend, August 24th and 25th, 2019. For your Saturday, a very nice day today with a cold front now further off to the south. We have high pressure off to our north and a trough settling into uh, the region actually settled in a little bit yesterday. Uh, that cold front was a little bit slow to move through yesterday by a couple hours, and of course we heard some complaints about it. But I mean, look, it, the NAM's not going always going to be exactly right uh, with this depiction. It gives you the general idea, and for the general idea, it was correct. I know that some people had some plans and uh, were hoping the rain ended. Uh, maybe I had to convey the message enough yesterday that the uh, morning hours you'd see some showers for central and southern areas, and that would push off to the south and east. That's pretty much what happened. Uh, whatever. Okay. I mean, you know, that something screwed up, screwed up somebody's plans or I didn't explain that correctly. I guess that's my bad. I'll give you, give you a pass on that one. But, uh, looks like high pressure is going to mill moving today. This front's going to be off further to the south and that's going to mean very pleasant conditions. Temperatures in the seventies for most locations, uh, today might get up to close to 80 degrees, uh, down here by Philadelphia or so, but it looks like the next couple of days are kind of like mid to upper seventies for highs, uh, straight through, uh, probably Tuesday. So a nice, uh, nice, uh, refreshing, uh, low humidity, mostly sunny skies today. I don't think uh, we're dealing with any clouds today, except for a few points. If we go to the NAM and take out the uh, expected cloud cover, this is going into late afternoon around four o'clock. You can see toward the shore points down here, uh, there could be some clouds moving in here, but it uh, looks to still a mix of clouds and sun, not completely cloudy, but you can see elsewhere, nothing. So we are mostly sunny. Now on uh, Sunday, Going back to the global model, Sunday we're going to have uh, this high pressure moving off to the Gulf of Maine, and whenever you have that uh, that happen, you have you start getting a return flow around this high pressure clockwise, so it's coming in like this, right toward the shore points. So that means you're going to have clouds uh, that are going to invade from the east. Now I don't think it's going to get most of our area, uh, and it's more so the eastern areas, but it will start to filter in even to par parts of eastern Pennsylvania as we get later in the day, and that's on the NAM here too. As we get into uh, the cloud cover, here is a look at. Uh, Sunday morning, most of the areas are mostly sunny, but look at these 100s right here over over Jersey. That means they're going to be socked in the clouds here. Uh, these are closer to the shore points and far inland, all the way over to 995. And then throughout the day, once you get in the afternoon, still mostly sunny in the afternoon in the interior. And then we get a mix of sun and clouds in the afternoon. This is now looking at uh, the, the uh, right around dinner time. Uh, so we'll call this partly cloudy. So part, So sunny in the morning. And then some clouds filter in in the afternoon and more clouds as you get closer to the shore points on Sunday. So it won't be so great this weekend at the shore points. Uh, you know, it, the starts off today is probably the better of the two days. Saturday is here at the shore points. Once you get to Sunday, probably more clouds you're dealing with. Won't be a total uh, mess there, but I mean, I think as far as precipitation is concerned, maybe a stray shower right along the beaches, but I don't expect uh, anywhere else to get any uh, stray shower. Should be just uh, confined in New Jersey if, that's, if that does in fact happen. Uh, but then uh, that high pressure moves away. This is actually a uh, could be a named, a named tropical system developing off the Carolina coast. But this will continue off to the north and east like this, and that will be out of the uh, out of the region. Could provide some uh, rip currents along the shore points as we get into uh, early next week to the middle part of next week. So we'll watch for that. Uh, but no direct hits. There's no chance this comes in and. It does a left hook here and uh, and, and hits the, hits uh, New Jersey or Delaware. I think we're okay there. This continues off to the north and east. And Monday, uh, we are expecting partly to mostly sunny skies, partly cloudy further south, and then uh, mostly sunny further north. We start to lose some of that influence from that uh, uh, some of that influence from that high pressure. But you will start to see in the southern areas started getting some uh, clouds in association with this area of uh, low pressure that will be developing into a tropical system, we think, heading off to the northeast. So you'll get some clouds for that. So if you're living in Jersey and Delaware watching this video, won't be as great as it will be for the interior this week as far as uh, the amount of sun that you'll see. And there's a couple different reasons for that. One was that high pressure, the onshore flow that goes going to go right through uh, Monday or thereabout. But once we get into Tuesday, Wednesday, you're definitely going to have some clouds from this uh, system passing by. Uh, for the interior locations, we are dry through. Uh, through Tuesday, and then we're going to warm up a, little, a couple degrees on Tuesday, then even more so on Wednesday. We'll have scattered thunderstorms with a frontal boundary moving through, and that'll be later in the day here on Wednesday as that moves through to the coast. Quick in and out uh, system, so it shouldn't be hanging around too long, and then we're back to partly cloudy skies here on Thursday, and mostly sunny here on Friday across the entire region, so it does look better at the end of the week for even the shore points. Uh, but we will, uh, behind that frontal boundary, which is actually technically a cold front, it's not going to cool down. Uh, the end of the week next week is still quite warm 
Uh, temperatures are going to be at least slightly above average as we end the week, but I don't think we're dealing with 90s necessarily. It looks like temperatures are going to be the mid to upper 80s uh, across our region, at least our central and southern regions, maybe lower 80s further north. But uh, it does look warmer at, uh, to the end of next week, but it does look dry at the same time. I'm EPA WA meteorologist Bobby Marchers. That is our outlook for the weekend, August 24th and 25th, 2019. Have a great Saturday and Sunday.